G'day YouTubers, I mentioned a little bit about anchoring up for the night in my last video, but it was a bit hard to explain on the water, it needs some diagrams to give you the full idea of how it works, so I thought I'd do this very short video just to explain it. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube and read a lot of books where they talk about anchoring and they usually say to put a scope of road out about three to four times the depth of the water you're in, but unless you've got some way of measuring that it's a bit hard to do. I like my method because you don't have to measure the rope, you just have to have a bit of an eye for angles. And this is how it works. Starting off with a scope of 4 to 1, which is 4 measures of road to 1 measure of depth, whether you measure in feet, metres or fathoms, doesn't matter. And I'd use this, or maybe even a little bit more in a really high current area. I'd put out more than this, I'd put out as much scope as I could if I was anchoring up against a storm. But in general, about 4 to 1 is the most I'd use for anchoring up around the bay. Now with a 4 to 1 scope, your road is going to form an angle of 15 degrees below the horizontal, as shown in the diagram. It doesn't matter if you're a bit shallow, it doesn't matter if you're 12 degrees or 10 degrees even, it just means you've got more road out, but you must be at most 15 degrees if you're going to have a 4 to 1 scope. Now this next diagram shows a 3 to 1 scope, which is what I use most of the time when I'm anchoring up around the bay, at least when I'm overnighting. And as you can see, that's a 20 degree angle below the horizontal for the road. Unless I'm expecting a particularly strong current, I'll anchor up with a 3 to 1 scope pretty much anywhere in the bay. Of course, it all depends on the bottom you're anchoring on. There's a lot of variables, but 3 to 1 works most of the time. Now this last one's a 2 to 1 scope and that's only for use in certain occasions. You can see the angle is 31 degrees calculated but if you're eyeballing it anywhere around 30 degrees is fine. I would never ever anchor with a 2 to 1 scope if I was leaving the boat or going to sleep. But if you're fishing and you want to anchor up over a spot and you're going to be alert to drifting and you're not too close to other boats where you might drift into them before you can do something about it, then a 2 to 1 scope is okay again depending on the bottom. Now all of this is only rules of thumb. It won't work on all occasions and it's very dependent on the type of anchor you have, its weight and its suitability for the bottom that you're anchoring in. Some anchors are better suited for different types of bottom than others. Now we're mostly going out in trailer boats and even the larger boats don't usually carry different anchors to cater for different bottoms. So we pick an anchor that's going to be an all-rounder and hopefully work reasonably well no matter what bottom we're anchoring on. We put plenty of scope out to try and avoid drift and help the anchor do its job. But we also have anchor drift alarms on our GPSs these days and they're for the case where the bottom doesn't suit the anchor. Now this last diagram is looking down at the top of a boat that's anchored in 10 metres of water with 30 metres of anchor rope out. It's sitting back 30 metres from the anchor, which means it's going to swing in a 60 metre circle if it turns on the tide. Now if you're setting your anchor drift alarm on the GPS, you're setting your anchor drift alarm local to the position of the boat after it's stopped on the anchor. So if I'm setting my anchor drift alarm and I've got a 60 metre swing, a 30 metre radius around the anchor, then I'll set my anchor drift alarm to be at about 150 metres so that the circle that the boat will naturally swing in is entirely enclosed within the circle formed by the anchor drift alarm. Now I guess you could set up your alarm when you drop the anchor, but I usually find that I don't have enough hands free to do that. I set mine after the boat is set back on the anchor. These days if you can't get anchored up before dark it's no big deal, just sit up and watch your GPS for a while after dark, make sure you're not drifting. And that's it for this video. Don't take any of these rules as gospel, they're rules of thumb and they have to be applied with a bit of common sense and depending on the circumstances at the time. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video, I hope you got something out of it and I hope it helps you to anchor safely for an overnight trip. If you'd like to see more of my videos go to my YouTube channel, don't forget to click that like button, comment and subscribe. Until next time, good fishing.